A lot of you ask questions about uh, the style of retrieving that I teach, which is known as an inductive retrieve. Okay, and it is important to understand the nuts and bolts of an inductive retrieve. Okay, but what's more important is to understand that to properly implement an inductive retrieve, okay, you have to use a concept known as pattern overlayment. Okay, so what we do is we establish a really strong basic obedience foundation upon which we can overlay new and novel concepts like retrieving. So the dog's always going from unfamiliar to familiar. So in the case of the inductive retrieve, one of the things that we'll do is we get the dogs where they understand our basic uh, coursework for the day, and then we'll introduce a retrieving item. And then as soon as the dog picks up the retrieving item, we'll move right back into the course and move a set amount of time before we take the retrieving item. The concept there being that the dog initially, his attention is drawn to the retrieving item and he picks it up, but then as he looks up, I'm still moving forward, so he starts moving forward. And before you know it, the dog starts to understand the relationship between picking this up and carrying it while walking beside me and it delivering it at some point where I ask for it. So watch how this works. So we're right here. I'm going to drop the retrieving item. Oh my gosh, what a good dog. We're going to go right back into our base pattern and I'm going to walk. Now right here what's important is to be a good judge of your dog's ability to uh, carry the retrieving item. Okay, this is a golden retriever and field bred golden retrievers uh, are very good at nice, calm, attentive and polite hold and deliveries. So I knew that I could get quite a ways in our pattern before I needed to take the retrieving item and uh, deliver my treat.